All right, so we got the fifth Mission Impossible. Where can we put Ethan Hunt now? Where is he going to break into that's just going to be almost like just fucking impossible? Because let's face it, it's called Mission Impossible. we got to make it impossible. What can we do? What can we do? I got it. We're going to put him underwater. And it's going to give me extreme anxiety. Good God. What's happening, my film nerds? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you a film review of Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. And of course, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation stars Mr. Tom Cruise, Ving Rings, Simon Pegg, Jeremy Renner, Alec Baldwin, Rebecca Ferguson. Is that the entire list? Yes, it is. And pretty much what's going on is Ethan Hunt has been trying to track this syndicate, this rogue, this anti-IMF. It exists. He knows it exists. It's basically just an even more secret organization full of spies and everything. Of course, Alec Baldwin's character thinks it doesn't. And they're like, no, we're going to shut down the IMF, bring in Ethan Hunt. It's all over with. So now Ethan must track down this syndicate and the main guy that's trying to run the syndicate, take him out. And of course, save the day, just like he always does, breaking into shit, repelling from somewhere, and just... <sighs> so what did I think of Mission Impossible Rogue Nation? I fucking love this movie. Come on! These, these Mission Impossible movies just don't let up. They just get better, it seems. What I really love about this movie is they really took that spy espionage tone that they had in the first, and they brought it into, well, now, and then combined it with Ghost Protocol, and it just kind of went... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, right there. I like that. Because when you watch the commercials, you think, oh, it's just going to be like a, maybe more of an action flick than the fourth one. Maybe with the motorcycles, they're going to bring some elements of the second one that was the weakest one. But no, the action is great. When the action is happening, it is fantastic. That motorcycle scene, that chase sequence is intense. When you're watching it, you're just like, oh, oh. But it's not overdone and there's not a crap ton, which is great. There's a lot of the spy stuff, the gadgets, the being undercover and just things that are happening in broad daylight when there's people around and you're going, holy fuck, there's a lot of tension and they're out in public trying to keep this all under wraps. And that's that one scene that you see in the trailer, the underwater sequence. God, that made me uneasy. I was seriously fidgety in my seat and that's when you know you've crafted out a great sequence is when you're making the audience go oh, I can't breathe Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise Tom Cruise is awesome okay he's 53 years old still looks great still does all his own stunts and then of course you saw everybody's gonna think like oh they blew like the big stunt you know because he's hanging off the the airplane and he's actually doing that no don't worry about that it's there's still plenty of more shit to see and it's nah. I really love Simon Pegg always love Simon Pegg ever since Shaun of the Dead it just seems like he just got put in our lives he's just a great actor he, he puts great comic relief out there but it's not overbearing he could be dramatic and everything too and it just it just works him and the chemistry with Tom Cruise is great Jeremy Renner shines in this one too I was wondering at first I was like is he gonna have like a big role in this but he does he has an essential big role I love the fact that they bring Luther back with a big role of Ving Rings because in Ghost Protocol he was only had like a cameo at the end and it was kind of disappointing because he's been there at all the movies he's always been there he always has Ethan Hunt's back and he has Ethan Hunt's back in this one too and it's just it's great to see that dynamic back and then of course he the way he's with Jeremy Renner as well as Simon Pegg it works. Rebecca Ferguson. Oh, where did you come from? I love you. She's a badass. She is a badass. And what's great about this movie, you're like, um, is she a good guy? Is she a bad guy? Is maybe he not a good guy, bad guy? Who's the good guys and the bad guys? We know, we know, we know who essentially is, but these other people, what? And the villain in this movie was a lot stronger than the last movie, I will say that. He was kind of creepy. He was really creepy. I mean, this is where, I guess you could say, like, whenever there's a villain in these movies, they're not as strong, you know, it's it's kind of like, okay, it's usually just somebody that's trying to fuck over that person or, and they're just going rogue. But this guy was really good and he was creepy and he, you saw what he was trying to do and it just worked out and with other elements too that aided to this villain, you're like, okay, that worked. So I really enjoyed Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. I highly recommend it. If you love the Mission Impossible, pop 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 pop. if you love the other Mission Impossible movies, you will love this movie. But does it belong on the favorite movies of 2015? Well, of course it does. Get up there. That's right, guys. That's how much I like. That's how much I freaking enjoyed this movie. Go watch it. Let me know what you thought about it down below in the balls area if you already did. Also, hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to my other channel too. Visit filmjunkie.com for all my videos. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Plus. It's all down there for you to click, guys, if you choose to accept it. Oh, that was dumb. Well, I'm Dave, the Film Junkie, and this has been a film review of Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. They're already... 
going they already got the 6-1 plan and it's already going to start shooting next spring but what's really sad is a popular website said the reason why they speculated this wasn't the actual reason why they're doing a mission impossible so quickly but they said the reason why that they're shooting the mission impossible movie so quickly is because tom cruise is getting old okay i understand that because he is 53 but what the fuck seriously you're gonna write a post about that that's interesting (laughs) yeah we're gonna make another Mission Impossible. Well, this guy's not getting any younger, man. His balls are hitting the fucking toilet water.